Now, Dwaminen Dance in our expressions of cultural values that in part convey historical narratives. While some agree the process is interesting, others think it is rigorous and unattractive. <laughs> The arts of drumming and dancing hold important roles in the traditional cultures of Ghana. Both drumming and dancing are used for a wide range of events, right from birth to death. In many festivals and funerals in Ghana, drum beats are used to dictate the type of dance to be done by the audience. It is therefore not surprising that there has been an increasing number of foreigners trooping into the country to learn our culture, especially basic drumming and dancing skills. But have you wondered what goes into the making of a drum? It is said that anybody can carve wood to make it look aesthetically pleasing, but it is only a true artist who can make a beautiful drum with both sides and sound. The entire process, I am told, takes six to ten hours, depending on the design, while materials form about 30 to 45 percent. To make a drum, the center of a tree is roughly chopped, the outside is shaped, sized and smoothened. After this, small cracks are repaired, holes in the wood are filled, and pores are sealed before a final sandpapering completes the raw body of the drum. The drum tuner then fixes his strings, covers the head of the drum with leather, usually an untanned hairy goat skin soaked in water. The hair is removed later with a shaving blade. After the skin has dried, the drummer sits on the drum to further tighten and fine-tune it using the strings. Carved designs and sometimes pieces of brass, tin, aluminium or cloth are added as decoration. For the finest look, the drum is polished and given its final sanding. Drummers say drums can be played by one person, in pairs or in larger groups known as ensemble. In such instances, they claim the drum beats differ in tone and pitch so each can be heard distinctively throughout the performance. Speaking to an artist at the National Center for Arts and Culture, he stressed that drums have great power and presence that give the pause to the music it is incorporated with. This drum is gimbe. Gimbe drum is used anywhere in Africa. The Ghan people, the people they use the Palongo drum for the festivals and the ceremonies. That the Palongo drums. So Palongo drums can be only got in Ghana. Listen to the sound also. This one also used from the people from the north. Normally we play with a stick. Dondo drum. According to him, the most important aspect of drum making is the creation of a perfect tone irrespective of the size and shape, adding that drumming and the use of percussive instruments play a significant role in the life of Africans, especially Ghanaians. Drumming cannot do without dancing. Well-calculated steps by a performer with varied rhythmic patterns does not only give the pleasure to an expert drummer's improvisation, but also to those who partake in the activity. Unfortunately, many have complained of the vigorous nature of our traditional drumming and the unattractive packaging 
of our traditional dances. In this vein, our traditional drumming and dancing faces serious threats of decline. If they say that uh, our traditional dances are vigorous, I beg to differ because Look at break dance, for instance, or street dance, the current street dance that we're doing. It is the youth who are patronizing it. And street dance is more vigorous than our traditional dances. But it is just that we have been brainwashed and most of the people in academia have, over the years, tried to fight this brainwashing. But for some reason, globalization has kind of still, in a very subtle way, kind of brought it back. When it's African dance, all we see is people playing drums, wearing raffia, jumping. Hey. No, that is not it. When I have gone abroad and done traditional dances that are, you know, like Adwa, Gahu, these are not vigorous dances. They are used to dances that make you jump and jump, and, and they think that is what African dance is all about. But we have dances that really do not accept you know, itself on people. You just have to do some little movement. So all our dances do not uh, require accepting yourself and applying a lot of energy, no. But should these excuses gradually destroy or weaken this part of our culture? As uh, it's been done in Senegal, how they developed their dance in such a way that now when you go to the U.S. and you want, when you tell anybody, oh, I'm from Africa, I do traditional dance, they will tell you, but, oh, are you from Senegal? Are you from Guinea? Do you understand? If we are able to market it very well, every month we are doing it, every year we are doing more than one, one uh, festival of dance and festival of drumming and all those. If we continue to do it that way, I think it is going to help. But now um, I think they are doing it, uh, government is uh, helping in one way or the other. But I think um, individuals also can also take it upon themselves and, and, and make it jail better. As a people we have progressed, as a people we have um, transcended, we've gone through a lot of experiences. Okay. Right now, the people who created Agbeko and Ado and everything, they don't wake up in the morning and drink tea with um, toasted bread and have um, what, baked beans and whatever, drink orange juice in the morning. No. If they needed to travel, they don't go and take a car. They walk. Right now, people drive to work. People sit and write. People make calls. If we don't let these modern ideas of um, artistic presentation reflect in our new dance creation, of course, no, 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 but nobody's going to look at us. We're going to look prehistoric. We're going to look dead. We're going to have new, innovative, totally hip and um, explosive ways of presenting our traditional dances. But we still would have our traditional dances as they have been handed to us. People love to dance and they love to dance when they have music they enjoy and therefore we might have to approach it with music that excites them and then when they are introduced to movements that are basically African to go with this music they definitely will respond. If you know our roots and where our traditions are coming from how they are being performed then we can sit and see how we can modify it to suit the current society. Packaging is just one aspect of the thing. It has to deal with conscientizing the youth, all right, getting to them to be interested in our performances. I am a person who is into pop, yes. but I blend the, the two. It is your ability to cherish what you have, and that is where we have failed as a nation to invest in our traditional dances and push an agenda forward that will try to educate our young ones who are coming to love what we have because that belongs to us. And for some reason, we have left it.
In Africa, especially in Ghana, drumming hold a deeper symbolic and historical meaning. cultural sector in Ghana, institutions responsible must step up their efforts to promote, develop, increase the patronage of the performing arts. Rebecca Iwa, GBC 24, Lego Nakra. And that's our end showbiz on GBC 24. My name is Gifty. Thank you for watching.